All right, guys, here's a bit of an unusual one. Now, this is a custom build, but there's a little bit of backstory to it. But first off, I have to say a big thanks to my buddy Jeffrey, who was part of my private Discord group and met up with me and a bunch of other enthusiasts at the Baltimore Random Rob meetup. So I'll be doing more of those soon, and I may open it up a little bit to more people showing up to, for a quick visit or something, but we'll see. But let's get into the watch. So at these meetups, typically a bunch of people will share their different watches. Well, one of them was this guy here, which was like he had forgot he even brought it, and he got it out right before, yeah, like right before we were getting ready to clean up the private room, um, and I fell in love with it. So did another buddy of mine. Um, and Jeff said this was basically spare parts because he mods watches. He builds some incredible watches. And uh, there was a, a competition, I think, like a Ugly Duckling build. And he's like, well, I'm just going to scrape up a bunch of spare parts from other builds and assemble something and see what it looks like. This is what he came up with. And he gave me a little list on it. But essentially, we're looking at a Seiko SKX-007 case. It's the real case, you know. It's a little banged up and everything like that. But it, it uh, you know, it's the spirit of the build, so it works. The case back is from a Seiko 7002. So it's an older case back. You can see there it's a very flat, uh, nice case back. It even says 7, 7002 on it. Okay. Um, the chapter ring inside there is from a, he, according to his list, this chapter ring inside there, that goldish yellow color one, is a Long Island watch chapter ring. This is a hodgepodge of parts, guys. The minute hand, so minute hand here, is the SKX, or excuse me, the Long Island watch minute hand. It's basically like an SKX 007, essentially, roughly. The hour hand is a raffles, time tuna hour hand so very much like a seiko tuna hour hand the seconds hand is a crystal times full red with a small red lollipop or a loomed lollipop out there so very simple red seconds hand the double dome sapphire crystal is the from crystal times and it's meant for a flat insert so some of them have like the way they're designed, they're meant to have a uh, sloped insert. So this double domed with chamfer is meant for this style uh, bezel insert. So that's a nice crystal times sapphire crystal. The dial is from Degas, and it is the quote smile dial. As you can see, if we zoom in, you can see it says uh, self winding at the bottom in a smile pattern, similar to like what Tudor would do. And that is discontinued from Degas, so you can't even get it anymore. The bezel insert is supposed to be like kind of a faded orange and gray. Now, Jeff's not 100% sure where that one is from. I think I've also seen this in uh, parts suppliers before, and I'm having a hard time coming up with it. I don't think it was Namoki's. I'm not 100% sure where it was, but it's an aluminum bezel insert. It's very cool. I really dig that. That really helps set it off. Um, I wouldn't change a thing with this watch, honestly. Well, I'm kind of going to change a few things, but not that you see. The bezel is a brushed sub-style bezel. Plenty of traction on that. The crown is a standard SKX crown. That's actually going to get changed. We'll talk about that in a second. The bracelet is an Uncle Seiko razor wire bracelet. Excellent match as well because this thing kind of has like a vintage vibe to it. Now, the movement inside here is a factory Seiko 7S movement. There's where the problem lies. Now, I worked a deal with Jeff, so this is going to be my watch. I'm basically trading him. I'm giving him another Seiko. Um, and I'm going to send him a bunch of other components as well, just as a gift. But um, So I got this watch. I took it home and everything. We made the deal. And I noticed it was running extremely fast. And I'm like, well, no big deal. It's probably magnetized. So I brought it home, uh, threw it on the time grapher, kind of confirmed that it's magnetized. I thought... I tried to demagnetize it with no luck. So it's still running extremely fast. Um, so I, I talked to Jeff about it and I asked him if we could swap out the movement. And if we're going to swap out the movement, why don't we put an NH movement in it? So he's picking up an NH38 and then we're going to use a Watch Mods S crown. So he's going to change out the crown. Um, 
and we're going to put, or he's going to put in the Seiko NH38 movement. I know that's kind of a pain in the butt, at least for me and for a lot of you guys, because you got to do the hand swap and the dial swap and all that stuff. Uh, but I think he's got it down pat pretty good. So uh, big thanks to Jeff for doing that. I just want to get the video done on this to share with you guys. And I'll do an update video once I get it back uh, from Jeff and all the work is done. But I don't know. There's just something about it. It's funky, cool, uh, kind of eclectic, I guess. Uh, I just dig it. And I, I wasn't going to leave there without it. Thankfully, he was receptive to working a deal because I would have seriously been bummed out if I wouldn't have been able to score this. I look forward to wearing it. Uh, I would wear it right now, but it's legit running. Like, it, it bumps out like a couple hours fast a day. So, that's going to be fixed soon with a movement swap and a signed crown. So, once that's done, I will share that with you guys. Now, the loom on this, the hands are probably good, but the some of these older dials from some of these manufacturers, the loom plots are pretty terrible. I suspect this one might be. Um, it's not horrible. Obviously, you can see the minute hand bright, the brightest, and the hour, second, and the dial, not too bad, actually. I was expecting a lot worse, but I don't really care about the loom as much as I used to. Uh, it's definitely below Seiko, but for example, here's like a, the new Seiko GMT. Uh, but it's not too far behind it, but I can already see it's starting to fade a little bit quick. But that part, like I said, doesn't really bother me that much. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.